Hey, quick impromptu video here on FTX and Sam Bankman-Fried and all this crypto meltdown. And this is something I've been saying now for about, let's see, four years? Pretty consistent about this. Do not keep any of your crypto in any exchange. Do not keep your crypto in anything long-term like Coinbase or Binance or FTX or any other exchange. You are ruining the entire point of crypto when you do this. The entire point of owning cryptocurrency, or at least I would say, what, 60, 70% of the point, is that no bank, no third party financial institution has control over your money. None of my crypto is in any exchanges, none. And I mean none, I use exchanges, I'll talk about that in a second. But none of my crypto is sitting anywhere more than 24 hours in any exchange. You know where my crypto is? It's right here. It's right here. This is the only one. Crypto, hardware wallets. This is what I use. No billionaire has taken this from me. No hackers taking this from me. No government's going to take this from me. They could reduce the value of the, you know, the crypto in here. That's possible. Sure. That's part of the game. But I'm not losing a single piece of crypto because it's in a, my own hardware wallet. That's where it should be when you own cryptocurrency. It should be in a non-custodial wallet, software or hardware wallet that you completely control. I don't know why so many people are in these exchange. Actually, I do know why. It's because it's easier. Well, Caleb, it's easier. Okay, fine. I understand that it is easier to keep your crypto in exchange, but dude, look what happens. Everyone's all surprised at this meltdown, everything I have read, when I first heard about this, oh my God, uh, they took billions of dollars and gave it to another company that they owned. I'm like, yep, that's right. Oh my God, they, have, they put like 27 year old little girls with no business experience and been charged these billion dollar companies. Yep, that's right. Oh, there's this strange hack and suddenly people's crypto vanished out of their wallets from FDF. Yep, right, none of this surprised me. And everyone's all shocked. Everything I'm reading is floored and shocked and surprised. Don't you remember Mt. Gox? When was Mt. Gox? Uh, 2015? So what? Seven years ago? Eight years ago? You didn't learn then? Shit! What, what, is the, <laughs> what is the point of keeping your crypto in exchanges? So the way you use exchanges is you use it as a transactional medium. That's what I do. So yes, exchanges are easy when you're converting your crypto into fiat. That's fine. So if you want to use exchanges for that, go ahead and do that. I sometimes do that. I'll put some crypto into an exchange from my wallet, immediately convert it to fiat, transport it out to my bank, and then it's gone. I have no crypto in any exchange longer than 24 hours ever. Because the entire point of crypto is that you control the money and no one can take it from you. It's my same advice, and I've been saying this for 15 plus years, don't keep any long-term cash in a bank, because then you're reliant on the bank. Are you insane? Now, I guess if you want to put your cash in a Singapore bank, that might be fine. But you're going to leave your cash in these criminal U.S. Western banks like Deutsche Bank and Chase and Wells Fargo with that we know for a fact break the law on a regular basis? Are you insane? Why would you do this? It's the same exact thing with crypto. Don't leave it in an exchange. Uh, I, I don't know what else to say about this other than the next time this happens, I'm going to say the same thing again. You guys are not, I don't know about you guys, but a lot of people left a lot of money in these exchanges when they should have had them in their own wallets. And again, well, Caleb, it's easier on exchange. It's more difficult and complicated to set up a hardware wallet or a software wallet or something like that. I understand that's right. That's true. But you know what? Learn. It's not that fucking hard. Learn. Learn how to set up a software wallet and manage it. Even if I lose this, I still have my recovery phrase. So this is fine. If I lose this, I have my recovery phrase in other locations. It doesn't matter. Learn. Take the proper precautions. Do this. If you're going to do crypto, do full crypto. Don't do half-assed crypto where it's in an exchange. That's almost the same as having cash in a bank. Dumb. Don't do that. Do not rely on third-party institutions for your cash. It's certainly 100% of your cash or your 100% of your crypto. We live in a collapsing world that is not smart right now to trust institutional Organizations like this, this is not the 1950s. Again, unless you stick with very stable countries, places like Singapore, but there's a very few of those left and they're all outside of the Western world. So that's really it. Uh, I hope some of you have learned your lesson. Uh, please do not keep your crypto in exchange. Use an exchange as a transactional medium in and out and all of your other crypto leave in non-custodial software or hardware wallets that you completely control. And of course, yes, have your backup phrases in other locations in case you lose them. 
Bottom line, then you will never have any of these problems. I have never lost crypto from an exchange or a stupid billionaire or a corrupt government or something like that. It just hasn't happened because I take the proper precautions. It's not that hard. Cool. That's it. Bye.